Hey guys, Crew Blind Wave, I'm Eric. Shane. I'm Calvin. Aaron. And we are back with Young Justice. Last time with Young Justice, we learned about the anti-life equation, what it means, why it's there, what's going to be used for. Control. Absolutely not. Two. Two. Granny. Count them one, two grannies. Two grannies. There are two grannies. <laughs> um, two time, two time grannies. <laughs> yes. And uh, we also uh, looked more into Dr. Jace, uh, how she felt about her kinder. And um, what? Her children. My kinder. My kinder. Her children, her children. Um, and how she feels about them, that and how she's tablet? just really fucking crazy lady. Like books on it? No. Real fucking crazy. No, that's. And Jefferson was like, I can't believe this. I'm going to go to this person. I can't believe him. I'm going to go to this person. Ah! Yeah, he's all distraught. Yeah. What are you doing? Kindle. Huh? Ah, Cole, Jesus! Your turn, elongated man. Yay! Yeah, elongated man. And I'm moving in. Wow. Schlongate. Warrior your squad. But be careful. Don't tell us. We've initiated no countermeasures. The device has been activated. Brace yourselves! Oh, uh, what's that mean? It's the anti-life equation thing, isn't it? Keep going! Oh, no! Fight! Through it! And he has stolen the console and parts the at all! Damn her. They're using her to... What a delightful test of the anti-life equation. The Justice League's biggest bullies enslaved in one fell swoop. My dear little mother box, you've done quite well for your granny. Can he be controlled? I think he's chocolate dog. Oh, Fuck, yeah. What? No, no, ballpark. Slaps it out of his hand. I hope not. Throws it into the sea. I like a static shock here, though. Like Job. He's holding his hot dogs weird. Uh, I thought you were confined to bed, Mr. Low-Grade Fever. I can't keep a boy wonder down. <laughs> and please, don't mention any fever to Barbara, okay? It took forever to convince her I was over my ghost dimension sickness. Ghost dimension sickness. I've been at my bedside for two days straight. I finally persuaded her to go home. Can't we just talk? Fine, talk. We were losing the war. The light changed the rules, cornered us into making a choice. Protect our ideals or protect people. As leaders, we chose to protect people. I get why this anti-light was formed. What I don't get is why you went along with it. Every time you lie to the people you love again, you lose a little bit of your soul. What we were doing, it, it wasn't like that. I'm sorry, but you can't be trusted to decide what it is and isn't like. Not when it was your lies that nearly ended us. Lies alter minds, McCann. Lies hurt. Hey, Fred. Uh, there's a, a gentleman here in the lobby to see you guys. Oh. Is his name Savage? Because I gotta stop this thing. Because it would help Darkseid too much. Savage is a damn savage. Because if Darkseid has I all the justly... I shepherds who have yeah. lost a sheep. I'm here to offer coordinates so you can boom tube to Miss Harper's location. What's the catch? The catch, as you put it, is this. You promised to tell her abductor exactly who sent you. Oh. Yeah. I'll sub in for her. Yay. You're still... I am trot, whelmed, and feeling the aster. <laughs> trot, Distraught, well, and overwhelmed. <laughs> tried. You think? Which is why I am going. Yeah. I promised Barbara I would watch over him. And I since you're justice. going, I am strictly back up. I know I'm an outsider, but I'm going too, and no one can stop me. No one's trying to stop you, but we're headed into the unknown here. I need to know you can keep your head on this mission, for Violet's sake. I can do that, for Violet's sake. Sounding pretty big blue, like a leader. Hmm. We both know that's not my role. Hey, don't look at me. I hate being a leader. <laughs> you keep saying that. But you already are a leader. So maybe the real question is, what kind of leader do you want to be? Motherbox has Savage's coordinates. Psychic link established. Our original team Vandal's there. intel is correct. We'll have the element of surprise. If not, this could be an ambush. Be ready for anything. <laughs> Beta Squad, you know the plan. We provide the distraction. You find Violet. Geoforce, you're leading Beta. If you get in real trouble, have Motherbox boom tube you home. 
And remember, keep my head or my homework and be in bed by 10. Got it. I've reached out psychically. Meditine's the League. I can't sense any of them here, not even my uncle. We know from the Markovs that Granny can potentially use Violet's power to control anyone without a fight. <sighs> then we assume Granny's got him. And we'll just add the Justice League and several <coughs> dozen Metatines to the rescue list. No big deal. Huh? Forager smells someone. No, several someone's coming. Ah, uh, that's stupid. Ooh, I wonder if the one person's gonna come back. Or the one that Superman saved. Please surrender now. <laughs> Yes! Yes! Stop! No! Oh! Yeah, yes. Hold on, man. Hyper smell. Yeah. One entrance sealed. I'll close another to keep them channeled from one direction. Because you are bananas. <sighs> you thought the wall man would stay back at the cave and hey, miss this. Hey, there Flash. You're here. Well, duh. Yeah. A mission to fight space babes and giant space bugs on a giant space station in space? Try to keep me away! Oh, hey, the new girl. I'm gonna keep my eye on her. Looks like today's the day. The music After all, Yeah. We didn't come for a play date. <laughs> Shh, listen. Hello, Megan! Oh my, oh my gosh, this is great. Kid, wait! Uh, Rob, why did my souvenir just eject some thingies? To subject some space monsters to a little team-style shock treatment. <laughs> Rejected! <laughs> Where to? Oh, oh my god. god. Oh, Rejected! Artemis! Rejected! She owes me one. You know I can still hear you. Dang it! <laughs> Superboy! Oh. <laughs> Nightwing hacked the javelin. I hacked the javelin. Your fever dream also hacked into old memories. Mm. Old feelings. I see all felt it. We all experienced it. It's best to see in the whole series. Don't be serious. Wallace always fighting yeah. at our side. Really gay. And always will be. <laughs> Your parents murdered by an uncle. Your country lost to a brother. Your trust betrayed by a confidant. And now. You lead your sister and friends to an inescapable doom. So get ready to. Oh, oh, no. uh, he cut the psychic link! Uh, you're so <laughs> no. My link with Beta has been severed. Megan, the moment we enter, brain blast everyone, render all unconscious. Oh, man. You must do to them what you once did to me. You are not oh, man. she brain fry everyone. Don't you know the effect it has on you? Believe me, I understand the consequences to our friends, but... But what about the consequences to McGann? Connor, what about the consequences to the universe? I'm prepared to sacrifice my soul to save theirs. Are you prepared soul. to stop me? Non-Metas suffer from the process in a way that Metas do not. Violet! Oh, little prince, take heart. You'll spend plenty of time with your beloved Violet. Together, you'll spread anti-life throughout the universe. Till death do you part. Overlord, you please. Like an overlord. Excellent. Now. Alright, last Ghost Dimension. 
Perfect. Oh, the brain blast? We're going. Oh, no. I wonder what it feels like. Long last, rise, children, and bear witness. The age of the anti-life equation is finally upon us. Sheesh. What, what happens next? Well, no, he's in front of all the fallen statues. <sighs> Damn. I didn't write anything down the whole time. I was too busy, busy watching. You know what? I haven't loved this season of Young Justice, but this shit got good. Yeah. I, like I really like that episode. I really like this episode. I really liked it, too. Yeah. Like, I legitimately have not enjoyed much of this season, but this episode was good. Even the, the other stuff that wasn't just Team Young Justice, you know? Yeah. Like, it was all pretty damn good. I, I loved, uh, like, I, I really liked that Bre Breon, like, didn't. He wasn't overreacting. He was using it as a trick, you know? Yep. Yeah. Like, yeah. A lot of people showed growth. There's stuff like that. <clears throat> the one thing I don't like about the episode that I don't, maybe I just don't get, is why, if it doesn't, if it only affects metahumans in one way, why it affects kal -El. Because he's technically a natural born or like, Kryptonian. Or even Manhunter. You know? Like or, his powers yeah. are originating from being an alien, which is it, like kal -El. This must be like. Yeah, I mean, it's whoever has that meta gene, I guess Superman, Wonder Woman, they're just counting them as superhuman. Because they showed the Green Lanterns, which yeah. I get that. Like, they're just, like, people Maybe. with no powers that yeah. based on their ring and their... Yeah. But then they showed Elongated Man, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which, I think he's a meta, right? I don't know. Well, I mean, what they're saying is that it, they you suffer more if you're not a meta, right? Yeah, that's like saying. that's why Dick Grayson like suffered yeah. like he did. But yeah. Elongated Man, I think, is a meta. Like yeah. I think he used to be a human and got superpowers. So he's yeah, he's so just I don't not know why he's suffering. suffering as much. Like I, I would, I would get it better if Elongated Man was catching them and Superman was over there being like, oh, you know, like yeah. that's that's the part that confused me. Uh, yeah, um, maybe it only maybe this because I don't know maybe the suffering itself only really happens after the release from it. Yeah. You know, like while they're the puppets, they're fine. But after the puppet strings have been put down, and they get up, and they're like you know, the the regular humans, the non-metas, have a tougher time with it, or something. You know, because uh, Dick and Jefferson were both in the uh, X pit, which has the same like uh, like squelching effect or whatever. So I don't know, but I mean, I, I like that. You know, it makes you really think. Like, man, Nightwing is such an integral character. No powers, you know. Yeah, yeah. because it's just so hard to think of. Like you know, like I just think of Batman. He is that superhero. He deserves to be there, but he did it all himself. You know, mm -hmm. and lots and lots of money. I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. just so much money. Um, I don't really know what's going on with Jefferson. Like he just didn't eat the hot dogs and walk on the street and remembered things. You know, like, he didn't really go anywhere case. yet. But I mean, you know, one of the things about this episode or this season, I should say, is like. We know that they release him in, like, batches of three, like, every week. So, you know, maybe the one-a-week structure is not, you know, doing, like, the best for me, you know, because I just find it to be, you know, like, there's things I don't like, and it stays that way. But, by God, I'm like, when Wally showed up here, it yeah. was so awesome. And it started, like, they showed all their old designs and started playing the classic Young Justice music. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, I don't know if that's just because I've been away from it for so long. Or it's just like that's the shit I want to see, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get so, it. No, it was cool, like going back and seeing like the old like costumes and the old yeah. outfits and the hello, Megan. Yeah. Like she hadn't done that yeah. forever, you know? Yeah. She also had like the old Megan look to her, mm -hmm. rather than like the like, she's gone with like the the bald Martiany kind of look now, rather yeah. than like when she was trying to fit in. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. I just yeah. I love the Robin outfit and him running around doing this hacking stuff, you know? Yeah. I just feel like sometimes that energy, like that dynamic, is lost in some it's, of the other so, He was so playful. The, the, the Outsiders haven't been bad, I don't think, you know? But, like, ever since uh, they caught Tara, the, the girl, you know? Yeah. And you've kind of had that, like, well, what's going to happen there and stuff? I feel I did feel like some kind of disconnect with the Outsiders a bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, 
you know, Halo's overpoweredness is now something that's not good for us, you know? <coughs> oh my god. What? Nothing, just... What? Like, it looked like a bruise. What did? Can oh, you, this? Can you see from your angle? Yeah. No, I can't see anything. Huh. It's like, you see it? It looks like there's a bruise on my arm. It's just like... The shadow? Yeah, but it's like blue. It's like purple. You see it? I mean, yeah, I see it a little bit. It it looks like you thought a, I had a bruise that bad? I gotta, take a, poking I gotta it? take a picture of it. It just looks dark. It looks like a shadow, honestly. He was like, man, look how terrible that bruise is. Poke, poke, real hard. Is that what he did? Look at that. Yeah, I could see. Like, I mean, you see how it fades? No, yeah, it I It looks know. exactly like a bruise. I'm like, Jesus, that's a terrible <laughs> bruise. Ugh. <laughs> anyway. <Okay>. Um. <laughs> I'm curious on where they're gonna go then, because like, who hasn't been caught up with it? Gar wasn't there. Yeah. Jefferson wasn't there. Mm -hmm. Like the two people that were upset the most. Static uh, shock. Static shock's not know. there. Teleporting man's not there. I mean the uh, yeah. dolphins not there. The other outsiders are still there. Um, like uh, that kind of stuff. What stops this? Does the light help? Like the light <sighs> sent them to do this, but it, I don't think it was a trap. Because I think the light is like we don't want Dark Side to get, you yeah. know, Superman and you know all these powered people on their side. Because those are who we yeah. want to use on our side to fight Dark Side. And he wants them to tell him it was me. Huh. Yeah, because we're on the brink of war, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm curious. I mean, I'm for the first like one of the first times this season. I'm like super in. Can't wait to watch what what happens next. You know? Yeah. Um, yeah. Damn. Damn. And I like seeing the uh, uh, Mantis come back from. Uh, you know, well, the, I'm waiting for stuff. there was the the fight we saw before with like Superman and them, and then yeah. they knocked the thing out, and he made sure the one girl didn't die. He, he got her out her. of there. Yeah. So I'm wondering if that's gonna come back in a way too, because I thought it would, but it never had. Well, like Deathstroke and Savage's daughter and stuff, will they come into you know fighting for the light, but the light and anti light, whatever, come together to fight Dark Side? I don't know. Yeah, light and anti light fighting dark. <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't know. <laughs> exactly. Um, and I, I mean, the conversations about what Megan did when she attacked uh, Aqualad's mind, you know, whenever he was in deep cover. Yeah. Um, about, you know, the whole forgive and forget thing. Like, it's a, it's a very real thing in those kind of relationships where, like, you can truly forgive somebody for something they've done. But the next time, it, it, you know, it can just come back into your head and you're just like, oh, they did that before. This will happen again, you know? It's hard. Because it's such you a... Be, you have to be really disciplined. It's such an abstract unnatural way of going about it honestly you know it's the natural thing is to blame people and to to keep that record of wrong you know mm -hmm. so I mean I don't blame Connor for that and the whole like you know the idea that you can lose your soul by doing these things you know she said like every time you lie or you're doing these things to people you know that's the detriment to them but it's also detriment to you you're doing that to them you know yeah so the conversation of losing your soul for the sake of billions I mean it's an interesting thing. I just don't know where it goes from here. Because she just did it and it didn't work. <laughs> so yeah. yeah. What happens? I next? guess she's gonna yeah. keep her soul. I guess so. I think so. She's I think she'll. I think, a whole bunch I of think she'll live. And eventually, lose it. Move on. Yeah. We'll see. I don't know. I mean, they're they're engaged now. I mean, they're fighting. Yes, but this could be one of those things where like it happens and one of them dies. <sighs> yeah. I mean, we lost someone last season. Yeah. Well, like, not Connor. What happens this season, and who could we lose? Yeah. There's also the little like thing that we haven't tied up about Tara. Yeah, you know, like she's working with the light and Deathstroke and stuff. So yeah. I mean, they're they're I don't know the way objectives can... kind of cross here, but how is that going to play off with her being like a spy within the Outsiders yeah. and the Young Justice and all that kind of stuff? You know, I don't know where that's going to yeah. Go. And, and when I, and I think Je Jefferson's thing is like maybe. Kind of leading to the idea of what Magan was saying earlier, where it's like choosing to help people rather than, you know, the principles of everything. Whereas yeah. his was like not about helping people, it was about the principles. Sure. Like he wanted to hold on to his ideals and everything, but a lot of the yeah. others were like, well, we'll hold on to saving people regardless of what people look at us and what we're principles, what our principles are of lying and whatnot, sure, whatnot, sure. you know? But like saving people is a priority, yeah. not holding on to our ideals. Sure. So I wonder yeah. if Jefferson's going to switch that and look at, like, like his daughter's playing superhero and stuff and maybe think about saving people being the main thing mm -hmm. that he signed up for. Mm -hmm. uh, I also uh, liked uh, Tora, like, her reaction when... She's obviously talking about Dr. Jace whenever Granny's, like, uh, you know, the confidant that betrayed you, you know? Like, in trying to rile him up, and she's like, 
Yeah. Yeah. Where she gave that. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Russell's nervously. Yeah, that was funny too. For a second there, I was like, is she gonna tell about Tara right now? And yeah. It's like, no, she must not. Yeah. Okay. And you know what? I, I've. I, th- I think I've experienced a good amount of feelings that are out there to experience. There's no f- feeling at all that would make me not want to have a hot dog. Yeah. What about, like, projectile vomit? No, it's a hot dog. I still eat it. Five minutes later, he's going to be projectile vomiting a hot dog. I get it, man. Yeah. What? I can't imagine a feeling. I wouldn't be like, no. Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Young Justice. You guys want to <gasps> see... Uh, Cyborg's still there, too. Oh, yeah, and Cyborg, too. Cyborg. Ah, we forget. Oh, we forget next week. Find out. Patreon.com. We can play about it on our Discord. Live at Discord. <laughs> <laughs> on our Discord, Discord. at Discord. <laughs>